in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this cute little tassel ghost. This takes just a minute or two to make, and it's really fun. You can use these ties at the top to tie it from a window or on some tree branches, and we're gonna add some eyes to make it look extra cute. So let's get started and learn how to make a tassel ghost. For this project, you're gonna need some yarn, just some medium weight yarn. I'm using some, just some worsted weight acrylic um, from the craft store, nothing too expensive, just some, some value type craft store yarn. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. We're gonna be trimming the bottom of our tassel, so you'll need something sharp and a larger pair is uh, more helpful. Um, I know some scissors are really small, a larger pair is best for this project. You're gonna need two uh, some people call them googly eyes, some people call them wiggly eyes, but you'll need two of those. You'll also need some glue. I'm gonna be using hot glue, but you can use uh, craft glue or like the tacky glue. Uh, all of those will work nicely. I like to use hot glue because it dries pretty fast. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut two pieces of yarn. We're gonna be use one to tie the top and one to tie the middle. So about 12 inches long, cut two pieces, and then we're gonna set them aside. Then we're gonna take our yarn and we're gonna sort of drape it down the front of our hand, okay? So take that and then we're gonna wrap it around all four fingers. Now each time you go over your index finger, consider that one wrap, okay? So hold it down the front and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, okay? So that'll give us a nice little bundle around our hand. Um, and then you're just gonna cut the yarn down here at the bottom. So I have two strands that are just gonna sort of hang down at the bottom. Grab one of your pieces of yarn that you cut a minute ago and set aside. And we're going to carefully slide this bundle off of our hands. And I like to kind of just put a, a placer, like, like a, just a, like a marker finger in there just to hold it while I grab my yarn. And we're gonna sort of bring this yarn through the middle of your bundle and we're gonna tie it really tight at the top, okay? So just one or two good knots and then kind of hold it from the top and then you wanna lay it down at the bottom, okay? Take your second piece of yarn and you're gonna kind of put it underneath. So we probably should have laid this down first, but that's okay. So lay, take your little bundle, lay it on top of that strand of yarn and we're gonna go about one fourth of the way down from the top, okay? So if we divided this into imaginary four parts, just that first uh, part, we will put our yarn. So go ahead and tie that, and that's gonna give our little ghost a head shape, okay? So just tie it like that, and I'm gonna go twice, give it a nice strong knot. You can sort of see how our ghost is taking its shape. So the next thing we wanna do is grab your scissors and you're gonna hold your tassel by the top and sort of flip it over and you're gonna cut all the loops at the bottom, okay? So just look for any loops and I think I may have done it with one pass. I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> so we're gonna take our little strands and as you can see, they're all different lengths. We wanna sort of give them a nice trim and get them all nice and straight. So I'm gonna hold it with my hand pretty firmly so I can hold them all down into place. And then I'm just gonna give it a nice trim across, okay? Now let's get all these. You're gonna have lots of yarn crumbs and that's totally fine. And you're just gonna give it a little shake and let it sort of hang down, okay? Now, straighten out your tassel and your tassel is now a ghost. So lay it down. And we're gonna keep these strands at the top in case you wanna tie it to something. You can tie it from a window, um, or you can just make some decorations and tie them wherever. You can tie them a couple on a branch of a tree. You can tie them to a goodie bag. So we'll just leave that in place. If you don't need them, you can trim that off. But let's lay our ghost down, because next we're gonna add some eyes and make it look a little spooky, okay? So let's grab our first eye, and you wanna be really, really careful about this part because your eye uh, is really small and you're putting a really hot blob of glue on it. So just keep the blob very small. You don't need a lot. 
And we're just gonna sort of drop it down on the ghost head, just like that. And just kind of like tap it down gently, okay? So there's one eye. And then we're gonna take the second eye and just, just a real tiny little blob of glue and just drop it right down on there. Make sure your eyes are uh, parallel. Or if you want it to be a silly ghost, you can make the eyes crooked. Okay, now I got a little glue on my hand, so try not to do that. But we're gonna take our ghost now and you wanna let this uh, dry and cool down till you use it, okay? So you can sort of position them in place while they're still warm. And our ghost is complete. That's all you have to do. It's super easy and it's very cute. So that is how you make a tassel ghost. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest sparkle and splatter video updates. Thanks again.